Hi guys, so in today's video, I want to talk about something that might ruffle some feathers, but I so I just want to start with a disclaimer that I strive to not offend others and not make people feel like I'm making fun of their beliefs. That is very important to me because I find that it's one, it's not useful to belittle people's beliefs. And two, I've had it done to me and I know how it's just so condescending and annoying. So I'm not gonna try to be, I'm gonna try my best to say these things in a way that I don't offend others. But if I do, I'm just gonna say, it. I'm sorry, but I have to say this. So I was recently tagged in a post on Facebook and this post did not offend me in any sort of way because one, it's very difficult to offend me and two, it just wasn't offensive but the post itself made me think about this question that i have so this is what the quote said the post said it said it's from uber fox on facebook and it says people who feel less in control of their lives tend to be more drawn to astrology and identify more with their horoscopes the positive outlook you get from reading a horoscope can even improve cognitive and creative performance a result of the placebo effect they're like very interesting so i was like cool whatever you know and I was like, this reminded me of a time when, that I was interacting with a professor. I was doing some clinicals when I was living out of state. And I was hanging out with my friends at the clinical site. And our professor overheard us talking about horoscopes because I always talk about astrology. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, that's why my channel is called Puro Astrology because Puro in Spanish means pure, like pure astrology, like not in like, not in the quality of the astrology, but that that's all that I talk about all the time. And it really is. So I was talking with my friends about astrology and my professor, this older lady heard us and she goes, you believe in that? And I was like, yeah, I mean, I do. And she was just like, that's, the, I can't believe you believe in that. You're like, you're studying, you're in school and you believe in that. And I was not trying to be offensive, but I said, but I mean, you believe in Jesus and you could hear a pin drop. Like everyone was like, and it, I don't remember what happened after. I actually, I don't remember what happened after. Probably everybody else, my friends are probably Christian too. So I wasn't trying to be offensive. I just thought that it was kind of rude to ask somebody like with that face or that tone, like, oh, you believe in that? Like, that's me. Like, there's, it's not useful. And obviously if they're talking about it. It means that they believe in it. So why even ask them that stupid ass question? So not only that time, but it's also come up in like family gatherings. Like I, like I said, I talk about astrology all the time. And sometimes my nephews will do something and I'll be like, oh, you're being such a cancer. Oh, it's because you're an Aries. And last time their, their father, so my brother-in-law was like, boy, don't listen to her. That stuff isn't true. And or what did he say? He was just like, you believe in that? Or, and I said, well, yeah, but you believe in Jesus. And he was like, I am not going to hear that. But he was just like, oh. first he was shocked. And then he was like, I'm not going to listen to any of that. And the only thing that I have to say is why is one spiritual path more important or more valid or more respectable than another one? I just don't understand. And so I think that even though astrology, for some people it's just fun, other people take it more seriously, and then other people like me are like, hey, astrology is my spiritual practice. Like I study the signs and the symbolism of the zodiac to have a richer life and to get help on my problems. Kind of how people use the Bible or their own um, holy books, you know, that's why I study astrology. It brings me peace, it gives me a lot of satisfaction, and that's what people look for in religion. So I don't understand what the difference is and why it's acceptable to question somebody's beliefs when they're not like mainstream or not like traditional. I realize that now um, astrology is becoming much more popular and there's a lot of young people who know a lot about astrology and it's really exciting. And re like recently I was like shopping at the mall and I was getting like a bra or something and oh, and I got a shirt that says Sagittarius on it. and the girl was like, oh, so you're a Sagittarius. And I was like, yeah, I am. And she was like, I'm a Capricorn. And I was like, oh, I'm a rising Capricorn. 
And I thought that she was gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever. But she was like, oh, I'm actually a rising Gemini. And I was like, oh, okay, no wonder. <laughs> and we had like a little talk about her chart and stuff. And that was really cool. And I was like, wow, like more people are starting to know about astrology. And that's exciting because that means I have more people to talk to about astrology, which always makes me happy. And as it becomes more normalized, I, I realized that astrology has had like, like it's been trendy and then like the new age movement and then it goes down and then goes up and that's a thing right but i wonder where like i don't know whether other people take astrology as a spiritual practice like it's older than christianity and it's in a lot of ways connected to spirituality in other countries like it's a form of divination right and we even hear about astrology, we read about it in the Bible. So it's existed for a really long time. And just because something is old doesn't make it true or doesn't make it valid. But what I, my point in saying that is that it's as old as lots of religions and older than other religions. So why is it less valid or respect, respectable? I, I wish that there could be a period, like there could, there will be a time where it won't be so disrespected because it's just offensive to just be like, you believe in that? And I don't know, is it just me? Have you guys encountered that? Have you encountered people? Oh my God, don't get me started. Like Neil, Degra Neil deGrasse Tyson, like he goes on and on about how astrology is bullshit and like he, like he laughs about it because like he's this like smart astrophysicist guy. He's also, he's got cancer issues and but that's not what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about how there are people who are going to be offensive about religions, period. Not just because it's astrology. Like, they'll ridicule Christianity and all forms of belief. And those people are annoying for their own things. Like, don't get me started on Richard Dawkins. Like, he just goes on and on and on about how God isn't real. And I'm like, okay, dude. Like, all right, all right. You go over there and don't believe in anything and just leave us alone, man. Like, Jesus. So... That's a thing too, like people, some people are just gonna be rude regardless. So that's not my point. My point is why is astrology okay to make fun of? Like, I don't want that to be okay. I want there to be a time where we'll just be like, oh, okay, you practice Christianity, you practice Catholicism, you practice Islam, um, and you are an astrologer or you, that you're, a spiritual person whatever you want to call it like i want it to be not only acceptable but respected like as a as a viable thing like um the other day at school we we had to have class on halloween and i was just like joking kind of testing the waters and i was just like oh what if i was wicked and it's a holy it's a holy day and everyone was just like like most people were like, what are you talking about? And one girl was like, oh, that's true. Well, I mean, you should request it. I have a friend who's a Wiccan and I was just like, oh, okay. You know, I was just kind of like testing the waters to see how they would feel. They're all my classmates. Well, I have a small class in that, that particular class and they're all Catholic and they talk about their religion and stuff. And whenever they ask me if I'm Catholic, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah. Because you know, my family's Catholic. So I, I say that I'm culturally Catholic because like, my grandmother, who I really loved so much, was Catholic and she like, you know, imparted that on me. So I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, just be like, oh no, I'm not, you know? But I, and I also don't wanna talk about my spiritual beliefs because I know that they're gonna think it's weird <laughs> and there's no point, you know, I just keep that to myself. But yeah, like, why is it okay to make fun of astrology? Like, why? Okay, I, I would love to hear you guys tell me in the comments what you guys think about this, whether it's that serious to you, whether you think it's like your spirituality, whether you would consider it a type of spirituality and why you think that it's okay to make fun of it. So, okay guys, that's my video for today and I will see you in the next one.